this from Happy Times in the Ask Adam subform. That's right, you can go on forums.adamversustheman.com and I might be a little behind at the moment. The one place you can really ask me anything in a publicly accountable forum, forums.adamversustheman.com. Hi, Adam. I have been reading a fair amount about the Constitution and was wondering how it is supposed to be interpreted. It seems like the major opinions are originalist, meaning original meaning of the words, intent, what the founders intended it to mean, that it is supposed supported by their outside writings and orations, and loose construction, broad and flexible interpretation. At this point in my understanding, I am in the originalist camp. How do you interpret the Constitution and how did you arrive at that conclusion? I have been listening to your podcast. I'm on number seven and watched a good amount of your YouTube videos over the past months. So I can't remember exactly, but I think some part of your work is what exposed me originally to libertarian views, and I've been devouring the ideals and books ever since. So thank you. Well, you're very welcome, and I'm always encouraged by feedback of people who can point to the origin of their spark of free thought that led them down the libertarian path or rabbit hole perhaps, to something that I produced. I'm very encouraged by this and honored, and my response on the forums was simple. It should be interpreted as a means of establishing a power structure to allow those dominant members of society to maintain their dominance. It should be condemned as an anti-freedom document, both in its origin and in its historical effect. So how should the Constitution be interpreted? Yes, the Constitution should be interpreted as a... Anti, as an anti-freedom document. Before the Constitution, remember the country was founded not with the Constitution, which was not ratified until decade, uh, until years after the Declaration of Independence, July 4, 1776, under which we had the Articles of Confederation afterwards, where we had more freedom. We had a loosely affiliated defense collective of the then new states, no longer colonies, as of the signing of the Declaration. And when the Constitution was instituted years later, it was a step backwards for freedom. The states became less autonomous. So in that sense, specifically, in its his, as an historical event, the institution of the Constitution as the governing document of the United States of America was a step backwards for freedom. The second way of looking at this, of interpreting the Constitution, uh, is as that which has given birth to the Leviathan that we see today. Is it not a constitutional government with the three separate branch branches of power keeping each other in check and accountable to the people that lords over us today? So whether you interpret the Constitution literally in an originist, originalist sense or by the intent of the founders, it really doesn't matter because if you care about freedom, if you love America, it's time to get past the Constitution, to see past it to the ideals that are at least allegedly behind it, the ideals of freedom, the ideals clearly spelled out in the Declaration of Independence that all men, although we must say now women, and understand that at the time uh, men did not include men of a different skin color, all men are created equal, endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, among these life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The ideals of those enlightenment principles of individual liberty, of the libertarian principles that we embody now in the philosophy of non-aggression, of self-ownership, if anything, dictate that we see the Constitution as an anti-freedom document, which needs to be as abolished as soon as possible.